What is going on everybody? Hacker13 here. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Mule. Now the Mule star is Clint Eastwood and uh, as far as Clint Eastwood goes, I mean, this guy's got nothing to prove. I mean, his entire career, you know, he's made good movie after good movie after good movie. I literally don't think Clint Eastwood's made a bad movie, at least is my knowledge. Um, you know, I'm a huge Clint Eastwood fan, you know, Gran Torino. As far as recent years, I say Gran Torino's his best movie. Um, at least in, you know, like recent years, but The Mule is basically about, it's a true story of this guy, I don't know the guy's real name, but it's a story of like a 90 year old man who smuggled so much cocaine, like he did it like 12, maybe more times, and like he would just get paid to drive the cocaine, you know, to other places with the drug cartel and everything, you know, he was a mule, he was a drug mule. So basically, you know, it's Clint Eastwood and basically he does that but on the side it's with his family because he always put work in front of family so like he's not um uh you know he wasn't around his family he wasn't around his he wasn't at his daughter's wedding but he's always there for like everything with his uh, granddaughter and you know his uh you know his him and his wife are divorced and you know he doesn't want to talk you know his daughter doesn't really want to talk to him ever but it's just like uh, for me, I found the family to be really annoying and just like, like I get family's family, but it's just like, if the dude wants to work, like let him work. You know, I mean, it's just like, he talks about, like he gives a, he talks, uh, he, they, they share some dialogue in the movie and one of the, uh, one of the lines are like, um, he's all like, I was out on the road 60 hours a week uh, providing for this family and everything. It's just like, you get, I get where he's coming from. It's just like, let, uh, just the family, every time he would, ran into his ex-wife, she would always whine about how he wasn't there and everything, you know, it's just like, dude, let the dude do what he wants to do. He's Clint Eastwood, okay, if he wants to, you know, go out in the street and murder somebody, then that's his choice, you know, but it's just like, I just found the fame, you know, it wasn't like it's a, like a big part of the movie, it didn't like ruin the movie, I just found the family to be too hard on him, I really do. But as far as the movie written, I mean, Clint Eastwood, he's a good writer, he's a good director. Like I said, he directed the movie. Um, like I said, the dude's got nothing to prove. He can act, he can write a movie, he can direct a movie. Um, the movie, I mean, you just going into this movie, I knew it was going to be good, but it's just like, the movie's directed very well. Um, you know, for a movie where not a lot happens, it's a pretty damn good movie. And Clint Eastwood uh, has... Bradley Cooper, Michael Pena, and Lawrence Fishburne in it. Lawrence, Fish Lawrence Fishburne kind of plays the big boss of this police department with the DEA and everything, and Bradley Cooper and Michael Pena are DEA agents, and, you know, they're trying to get information from somebody they know in the drug cartel, and, you know, that this kid's kind of like a Sicario in a way, but, like, they try to get information from him, and I'd say if Clint Eastwood wants to keep doing movies, he needs to keep putting Bradley Cooper, because after American Sniper, which was phenomenal, I'd say that, you know, Bradley Cooper fits in Clint Eastwood's movies because, you know, his movies are, I mean, after Bradley Cooper, like, I'm not, I didn't agree with the whole Star is Born thing, you know, I wasn't, like, a big, like, that, that movie just doesn't, I don't know why they made that movie, but it's just, like, I feel like if, if Bradley Cooper keeps, wants to choose roles, I'd say he'd keep doing movies with Clint Eastwood, but, yeah, I mean, you know, his character isn't bad, uh, his character, like, isn't really good either, his kind his kid, he has really nothing to his character, I didn't feel anything for Bradley Cooper's character, to be honest, and I didn't feel anything for Michael Pena's character, to be honest, I mean, Bradley Cooper had some, hu Bradley, his character had some humor to him, but, like, it wasn't, like, anything big, but, uh, I'd say, I mean, he was okay, you know, he worked, I wouldn't, I didn't really care, like, if his character died, I'd be like, all right, whatever, but, um, Clint Eastwood, oh my, you care for that, you care for his character so much throughout the movie, um, you know, his name is Earl Stone, and, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty damn good movie, and, you know, there's humor to it, you know, when you get, I don't want to say much of the humor, because without a lot of the humor, I just recommend go see it, because a lot of the humor is pretty funny, um, you know, because he, he'll, he'll, like, throw pod shots in there, and, you know, references and everything, and it'll just be funny, you know, Clint, that's the way Clint Eastwood does his movies, and I think that's really cool. But, um, i say The Mule was a pretty damn good movie. Um, I had a really good time with it. Uh, if I had to give this movie a grade, I'd probably give it, like, an A. I wouldn't necessarily give it an A+, because of the family part. 
of being a little too hard on him and every time I just saw the family I was kind of getting annoyed so I'd probably give it an A um, if you guys have seen the movie let me know what you thought of it in the comments below don't forget to like subscribe share the channel with friends hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload there's a movie vlog coming soon that I have pre-filmed so yeah I'm like already ahead of time uh, yeah so see you guys in the next video